welcome back to another episode of the Crypto Serpent. And if you do enjoy the videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. That's right. We're starting with charts. We're starting with charts, right? You're not going to sleep tonight. By the end of this, you are not sleeping because the breakout that is about to happen will melt faces. It will leave the haters with their mouths wide open. It is coming. Technically, fundamentally, from all angles, whichever way you look at it, 4 to 420 is literally within sight. It might be a day, might be a week, might be a two weeks, but it is coming. It is clear, clear as day. When you look at the charts, and especially the chart that we're looking with, we're looking at right now, if you know what you're looking at right now, it is coming. And the breakout that we're getting, the extension target that we are about to receive, $4 to $4.20. Not far. Like I said, week, two weeks max, but it will melt faces. Now, before we look at more charts, but let's go into some other details. As you know, Ripple did score a major win. The judge orders the SEC to explain a lot. The SEC is ordered to explain, among other things, how the Howey test applies to XRP. Now, we know that the judge granted two pending motions on the same week that she gave the SEC's request the extension. But the Howey test is really, really important, right? It's so, so important to this case. And the SEC has much to explain, much, not a lot, not, not little, has a lot to explain. So get yourselves strapped in. If you were starting to lose faith, if you thought this thing was going to drag on and be here for a very, very long time, you might just get the surprise of your life. Now, Mike Novengratz says the XRP community damn resilient in the face of the SEC lawsuit. And they're right. I mean, you know, what other community out there in the, amongst such a high level billion dollar case would have held as much as they've held? What an amazing community the XRP army is. Truly, truly. Now, there are some pivotal levels that we're going to talk about. You know, pivot, pivot level at $1.9, 62% fib retracement at $1.40. We'll get to that. We will get to that. I already gave you a taster. There's more. Ripple CEO claims Ether surpassed XRP because of SEC. He's at it again, right? So Brad's at it again. Brad's saying the only reason why right now XRP is not number two is he reckons it's because of this case. I mean, these are very strong words. Very strong words. Now, again, I'm teasing you again with some charts. That's why I said two weeks, right? Two weeks. When you look at it that way, that looks like a two-week thing to me. But we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Now, when we talk about breakout and, you know, how, how, you know, how are we going to go so far up? Well, just look at this. Just look at the volume level. Look at the compression that we've had. And once you, it's like a coil. You wind it up, wind it up, wind it up. And when it unleashes, it is going to unleash. And so, 360... 420, 420. I think I think that's exactly where we will end up. We'll probably get you know, very close to three, small retrace and then bounce to, to 420. But 420 to 450 is exactly where we're looking at it. And from a weekly perspective, it doesn't matter which way you look at things, right? You can like there is just so many ways that you can look at this, and, and you it's impossible from a fundamentals perspective to not get excited about what is coming. Forget about the serpent, forget about TikTok, forget about the XRP army, forget about all of us, right? Fundamentals, technicals, technicals. Let's go back to the first one of the day. Technicals, technicals. I'm gonna say one more time, technicals, right? It is truly, truly exciting what is about to be unleashed and it will take haters who don't do homework, who don't understand, who don't, put in the time and patience to widen their thoughts and be like, okay, well, what if what if XRP does break out? Like, well, where could it go? Right? They don't take the time to do that. 
So when it breaks out to 420, I already know what they're gonna say. They're gonna be like, yeah, but you guys had to wait till two since 2017. Listen, 420 is just a warm up. It's just a warm up of what is to come. And there's a lot coming. Like there is a lot coming to the XRP army. We're not just gonna finish at 420. Uh, we're just getting wound up, getting ready for this party. Let's jump into a time. Let's have a look at some of the indicators. Now, as we begin to look today at the analytics, you know, from, from a technical perspective, we know that, you know, Bitcoin's down 3.71%. It touched a, a support level of 60,000, which, you know, it was looking like it was going to happen. And all the others are sort of sitting there around, you know, 1% down, 2% down, 3% down. Some of them are, you know, some more, some less. Uh, but then you obviously, you know, you do have some standouts at the moment, you know, like, you know, Phantom breaking um, all-time highs uh, again today, despite all the others, uh, you know, like not performing that well. Now, when it comes to XRP on the daily perspective, we can see that the MACD is sitting on bearish. We've got a not much volume happening, to be honest, you know, a 1.4% down at the time of making this. When we look at it from an hourly perspective, we can see that the hourly has just started, you know, like as soon as it hits 8 it always, as soon as it hits $1.08, it always bounces off and it starts to go higher again. When we look at the four hour, it is bearish on the MACD, RSI sitting right towards the bottom of it. We look at the 12 hour above the moving average 100, which is very, very important, but just hovering around, you know, not, not doing anything, just, just flat, just sitting there, not doing much at all. And what can we expect, right? So the same thing that we've been expecting for a couple of days, right? We're waiting for this breakout. That is what we're waiting for. We're waiting for that breakout to happen. Now, once the breakout occurs, then you will start to see the move, the, the, this explosive move that we've been talking about. And that's what happens during consolidation, right? And even right up until the end of these graphs, it's gonna make us wait right until the edge and then it will, it will fly off and you, know, you, won't, you won't catch it. And so your homework over the weekend is less Netflix, more things like this. Do your homework because don't come to me when it's at $2, $2.20 saying, hey, is there going to be a retrace, right? You've had months upon months upon months upon months upon months. It's not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just saying that you've had that long that I will not be giving you any answers, right? If you come to me and say, hey, at $2.20, is there going to be a retrace back to a dollar? I'm not even going to answer you, right? You've had long enough to make your decision. Let's have a look at some uh, charts. Okay, so when we talk about melting faces, right? When we talk about breaking out and having an enormous run, 228 is a very, very important point. 276 is very, very, very important. And 337 will be major, major, major resistance points, right? There will be very, very big resistance points. And so we do have to be conscious of that, mindful of that, and just keep an eye out how it performs as that occurs. Very very, very important to, you know, to look at it from that perspective. Now, the breakout that we're all, all looking for is at that at $1.15, consolidating about, above that, and then we start to fly towards 130, 134 very, very, very quickly. So that there is very, very important from, you know, from, from a chart's perspective. Then as we move forward, we start to look into more things, right? So we, then we look into the resistance of 167, and the resistance and 194, which are very, very important. And as we look forward into the future, as we zoom in, you know, like, and go into how we're going to go into double digits, with or without the SEC, you'll see a double digit XRP. A triple digit XRP, though, no. We need to wait for an SEC settlement. We have to. Like, the, the, it's just not going to happen, right? And, and I'll tell you how it is. You don't, you don't want to hear it. But until we settle, you're not going to see triple digits. It's just not going to happen but i'm excited i'm excited because we are at the tip we are right at the edge i can feel it got goosebumps i hope you've got goosebumps because this 420 this melt face moment that the haters will not be seeing is coming and it'll look something like this this is what i'm gonna leave you with screenshot it print it put it on your fridge Friends come over and ask, just say the serpent showed me this. It will look something like this, right? It's not going to be accurate. It's not going to be spot on, but it will look like this. There'll be some monstrous candles and it'll take us 
right over into that 420, 420 to 450 sector. It's going to be amazing. And you know what? I'm going to be here right every day, every step of the way with you. If you learned something new today, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. As always, thank you. And I look forward to see you on the next one.